What's up, movie lovers? It is Jay Spice from the Food Here, and today I'm going to be starting a review series that I've been teasing for a while, and it is I Finally Watched. And this is like a movie I've been wanting to watch for a while, and I finally did it. And my thoughts, and I've been doing a lot of reviews on my letterbox, and uh, which is like if you don't know, that's a app where you can track all the movies that you watch, and then you can put reviews up on there. So I got reviews on there. And I was eventually, at some point, I'm going to recap all the ones that I've done in a video. And last week, I watched a movie that I wanted to do a review on, but I just spilled my thoughts out on Letterboxd. It was Reservoir Dogs, Quentin Tarantino's first movie. So, you know, I'm a pretty basic film guy now. I watch Tarantino. <laughs> uh, but... I just watched another movie today that I've been wanting to watch for a while. It was uh, one of the movies that Kevin Smith was inspired by when he was making Clerks. He kind of took inspiration for the structure of that movie from this one. And I wanted to do a review on this movie specifically because it is just very relevant to what's happening in the world today. And I'm from Minnesota, so everything is impacting me. It just hits a little closer to home, but... I don't really know how to word. We all know what I'm talking about. YouTube might demonetize me, I don't know. But uh, that movie is Do the Right Thing by Spike Lee. And he directed and wrote it. He stars in it as the main character. And it also stars Danny Aiello. I don't know how to say his name. Ozzy Davis, Ruby D, Richard Edson, Giancarlo Esposito, Bill Nunn, John Turturro, and John Savage. And... It's a very simple story. It's a very easy story to sum up. It takes place in Brooklyn. It's the hottest day of the year. And there's just a lot of racial tension going on in this one neighborhood. And then the story just focuses on this one neighborhood in Brooklyn. Uh, there's like a pizzeria there that Spike Lee, the main character who plays Mookie, works at. And so you get to see the people that work at the pizzeria. and all the like people that live in the neighborhood and there's just a lot of tension going on and that's the first thing that I loved about this movie the like the heat you could feel the heat from it like I mean I'm in a room right now with a fan and the fan was on the whole time that I was watching so I wasn't like ah oh, it, it wasn't that immersive but like with the cinematography there was like Dutch angles you know and they got the the cameras like sideways but it actually worked in this movie because it added to the tension you know the intensity of the movie because uh, usually like when you watch the first Thor movie it's like what the hell are these angles <laughs> and it's just there for no reason but this movie it actually made sense and all the characters are just really interesting you got uh Mookie himself um Radio Rahim uh, what's Samuel Jackson's character's name I don't want to forget Samuel Jackson's in this movie too he is great um Mr. Senor Love Daddy he's the radio DJ uh yeah Vito Salampino all the characters um you don't necessarily agree with them on everything, but they're they're entertaining. Uh, you, you like watching them on screen, even when they are saying racist things. Um, that is a weird way to word it. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, you know, I just watched this movie because it felt very relevant. And yeah, um, I sound so white. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, all the characters are, like, captivating to watch. That's a good way to say it. Uh, the cinematography, like I said, is really good with the Dutch angles. And it just really makes you feel up close and personal with all the characters because there's a lot of close-ups and stuff. Um, the dialogue is really great. It's a really funny movie. And then it just gets deadly serious at the end. And it, it hit a little close. It hit way close to home. It was super relevant to today. I'm not going to spoil in case you haven't seen. If you haven't seen this movie, what are you doing? You have to watch it. It's fantastic. You know, there was one scene where I was kind of like, what is this doing here? 
And then when you read the behind the scenes, it's like even one of the actors didn't want to do it. But I think I understand. I understand it in the context. You know, this is a this is a movie that I feel like I should rewatch eventually. And it just like leads to a lot of discussion. And that's why Spike Lee made the movie. He wanted a discussion on racism and like how to deal with it. And the thing that is great about the movie is that it doesn't take a side. It, it's not like this character's right or this character's right. They're all kind of casually racist towards each other. All the different people that are living there. Um, there's like store owners. There's a group of like Latino guys, and then uh, the black people, um, the guys that work at the pizzeria. It's just like everybody, they all kind of hate each other. And it's just a very great, intense, but funny movie. I definitely want to go pick up the criterion of it right now. <laughs> uh, I've just been really watching a lot of great cinema recently, dude. You know, there's more to there's more to movies than just Marvel. You know, <laughs> just I don't have much else to say. I don't think I really have any complaints at all. Just one the one scene was kind of weird, but I understood why it was in there. And I like how there's there's really no side there's no side that's taken in the in the film itself. It just like presents how everybody deals with the situations. And then it's just up to the viewer to decide were they right, were they wrong. Did they do the right thing? That's why it's called that. Um, just go check it out. It's on Peacock, the NBC Universal streaming service. And if you have Xfinity, it's actually free for you. So that's how I watched it. So yeah, um, this wasn't a very like great video, but... It felt nice doing another movie review on camera. And go check out my letterbox. It's a... Uh, I gotta go on here just to make sure. Sorry about being silent. I just gotta make sure that I get the name right. Because I'm pretty sure it's JSpice50. Yeah. JSpice50. And here's my profile. I mean, that is if you want to look at it. This is all the movies I watched recently, my favorites, and then, yeah. That's it. Just go check this movie out, and, you know, if you go watch go watch the movie right now. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it, and, yeah, maybe not a discussion of the ending, you know, because spoilers. Or at least like marketed spoilers. I don't know if anybody's gonna comment on this. What am I saying? But I don't edit any of my videos, so I'm not taking this out. Whatever. Just go see Do the Right Thing. Ten out of ten. Fantastic movie. Really great performances. Everything about it is just really good. And yeah. So for now, this is Jay's Place Films of Food. I'm saying bye. Bye.